hey there i am part doshi exploring the field of rpa and sharing my learnings with you by making videos so i'm back again with another video on ui path so right now i am exploring the new update by ui path that are orchestration process and how we can involve human in the loop of our automation how we can do that also considering some concepts of hyper automation as well so now this video is what i'm going to make a uh, few videos next in this playlist are going to be how we can involve human in the loop how we can create a task in the orchestrator so when once it is completed based on the priority the process will get executed something like that so we are going to do that now today what we are going to do is we are going to understand two different activities that are going to be create form task and wait for form task and resume so right now till now if you have explored document understanding feature you have create validation station and wait for resume of the validation station so what is that that is basically you create one task in that particular orchestrator folder and then you wait for that to user to validate the extracted data if it's proper you give a go ahead and your process is completed similarly the things are over here now what happens here is once i create a form task in the orchestrator now what is form task form task is basically a ui path form task that we are going to create and we are going to wait for it to get resumed so what you need to simply do is you need to go to this template and use this template orchestration process so by default two activities will be installed persistent one and system and you need to install ui path dot form activities going to manage packages now once you do that you will have this following set of activities now what this will do is basically it will create a form task in the orchestrator as you can see over here let me just open this now you see this was the task that was created and i have completed it and i have filled the details ramesh gender and the age i can't edit any of this thing because this task is already completed and the data is stored in my you say orchestrator so now whenever a task is assigned and executed now what is an advantage so when we normally run ui path forms we can either save the data in an excel or something like that but what if you want to check what was the output or what were the details entered when it was executed at this particular time okay who executed it right so now here are all that features available to you you can see what in what details were filled at that particular time when the pot was executed who filled the details what were the details and you can easily access them as you can see over here right now on my screen so you see let me click on this open you see i can't edit it but i can see all the tasks that were completed so this is one of the advantages of using human in loops you can keep a track of all the things that are happening you can you have the data saved now sometimes some of the people tried to build the workflows wherein they can take the screenshot of the filled forms now here that particular thing is eliminated you can just simply use this directly no need to take the screenshot of the filled forms and uh, save it in the file you can just directly put it on the orchestrator whatever data that were filled so now let's see the first one create form task so now you, what you need to do over here is very simple no hard configurations need to be done it's very simple first is the form task title that i'm giving as you can see over here task title is form orchestration process so you can simply give over here form orchestration process you need not create any task in your orchestrator it will be by default created from here okay sorry for this now priority priority can be different priorities medium high and you can say uh, normal now task catalog you can even have a task catalog name right now if you go to say here i there is no name written over here so i don't have any so here we are going to name it as task cat okay let's name it as user data so next time i run i will be seeing that as well now orchestrator folder is default as you can already see over here it's in the default folder over here i have only one folder so i am going to specify default one now what you need to do is you need to install ui path dot form activities you need to open the form designer and if you want to learn about ui path forms in detail what all operations are possible then 
what all things can be done i have a complete playlist in on my youtube channel you can go ahead and check that out there are many different use cases over there so what i have done is i have created a simple form with name gender and the age you can see there are three fields name gender and the age and they are field keys are so whatever the field keys are that i am using in the form collection going to field key name so that i will be using to access the data outside the form let me just close this see close and now why this form collection so form collection is basically used to access the data outside the form so you need to use the same field keys that you have created over here and then you need to give them the value in the variables so this are my field keys over here in the name and these variables will be having their values click on okay and now you need to create one you say simple task object that you can see task output this is the output that i am going to use further when i want to resume the task but right now since we are just understanding what is create form task we are just creating the variable but not using it anywhere so it is not going to be assigned to any user or it is not going to wait for it to resume okay so we have created this flow chart i hope all the details are clear till now and the storage bucket name i am giving processing folder path of the storage bucket name if the bucket is in different folder okay let's give it as yes, default we'll also see what's happening in the storage bucket yeah. going to the main let me see when this is just a tool stop i am using to now you see there are no other things involved over here i am not doing anything upon the task is complete so i'm just creating the task to help you understand this first in detail and then we'll add wait as well wait for task to resume so now it will just get executed and it will create a task for me over here in administrator you see the process got completed okay the task is over here unassigned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign to self and open you can do this as well the assignment part directly from the ui path forms uh ui path process so i'm going to fill in the name uh let's put it as rakesh roshan mail and the age let's put 45 and click on submit yes confirm now you see action completed successful now i'm going to close this now you see it is completed few seconds ago so you see the ids as well created right there is the title as well okay the catalog name didn't come i think we need to create our catalog okay that's fine but you see the process is created over here now the this particular process was already completed now here i have filled in the details and i have submitted now if i click on open you see i can see the details over here so this is how you can save the data what was filled in the form directly with the form fields so let's see what we have in storage buckets anything okay so since we are not uploading any file or anything as such that's why nothing is getting added over here action catalogs processing invoices uh, okay let's create one catalog what was the name that we gave over here user data user details okay actions let's execute it one more time to see whether we are getting that catalog name okay the process is completed let me go to administer user details okay so what you need to do is you need to simply create a action catalog over here that will be displayed over there so once i have done that this is over here and now you see there is an option only to open and assign to self is the option as well so now it went into the pending state i will fill okay let's put rekha gender is going to be female age is going to be 35 click on submit open next section no just confirm submit it and now the action is completed along with the catalog name so if you want to filter the data based on some catalog or something like that you can get that as well 
So this is how you can create a form task. Now let's see how we can use wait for form task to resume. Okay, let me just delete this first. Wait for form task to resume. Task object. Now what we have output from the first one that we are going to give input over here. Okay, one second. Task object output, which is there. And what action was taken? So let's create a variable task action. Okay. And one more thing, what we'll do is we'll write the values in the txt file once the process is completed. So let me drag this. Okay. The file name, I think I already have a file name, something output.txt. Let me use that only. Okay, and the text to be written is going to be, we have three fields, right? Name, then I'm going to put gender, then I'm going to put the age. Now let's see what happens when we have weight. Okay, and let's add one more. On the new line environment dot new line plus and I'm going to put task action and here we are going to use that PDF because it is a string variable we can use it as okay let me save this and now let's use a stop to it okay so now until the task is completed, right? The process won't get completed over here. So let me run for now. You will automatically know the difference between both these things. Let me monitor the administrator. Now you see this is unassigned and the process is also still waiting. So assign to self and open. Okay. Sita, gender female, age 18. Submit, don't open the next section, confirm. Going to my action. Execution has been suspended and is waiting for external events to complete. Okay, so I think we have completed it. Let me refresh. Let's open the project folder as well. I think there is something status message. This status will be displayed against the workflows in suspended mode, waiting for this task completion. Specifies the amount. Okay. For some reason, the workflow didn't. Okay, just click. Let's click on resume itself. Okay, now let's check our output file. Okay, the output file is updated. Okay, so for some reasons there is no data over here let's execute it again Okay, it is completed. Let me go over here, click on resume. Let me 
it me from the output file okay so i'm not sure for some reasons it is not writing the data okay let's execute it again let's try it for the last time but this is how you see you can create a task and give it like how we do it in document understanding you can do that similar kind of thing over here Mesh mail twenty submit. Let me close this. Let me open this. Let's go back over here. Execution has been suspended. Waiting for form task resume. okay so for some reasons the data is not coming in over here in the txt file because i think i will have to restart my system as in my notepad also i can't see some of the options available over here so i think there's some problem but i hope you got a clear understanding of how you can use create form task and wait for form task and resume please do try to build some kind of workflow and if you have any problem i am ready to help and just because i couldn't show you the output it's not like this doesn't work this definitely works i have tried it before as well as you can see i have different form task created uh, five days ago five days ago so this definitely works but right now i think i will have to restart my system some kind of problem but this is how you can create a form task and wait for its resume and you can have the data now what all things are reduced from the normal form task or by involving human in the loop first of all you can assign the task to different users i will try to make another video on that as well as we have the activity over here assign task activity so if i put it over here let me remove this and now you see use this property if entity must be created or queried from a different flow that than that of current process provision to user task user assignment list of task ids so what we need to pass is list of task like to whom we want to assign that and if any fails that we have in output as well so you need to create a list of users when you can assign the task to that particular user you can have one user as well you can have multiple users as well so it completely depends upon what is the application that you are trying to build so go ahead and try this feature of how to involve humans in the automation and it you say it is very helpful the task of taking the screenshot saving the data everything is reduced you can have all the data on the cloud itself of your orchestrator thank you for watching the complete video the next video in this playlist will be on how to use create external task and wait for external task and resume thank you for watching the complete video see you in the next week